Hello, my name is Courtney Farley, and I am a senior at Blue Valley Northwest High School. This is my home page of my website and has a brief summary of who I am and why I entered CAPS, and a little bit of why I want to enter the educational field. Next, I have my resume, which talks about my objective and why I'm dedicated to be an elementary school teacher that allows me to make a difference and encourage higher creativity and thinking. That also includes my education and my experience, which includes volunteering, and then my act activity throughout high school and what I was involved in, and then my special skills. And then here I have linked my LinkedIn takes you there and then next I have my philosophy which a little bit includes that every student is unique and must know they have a space to grow and express their own ideas slash thoughts. I think that is my main idea and key that I want to take out of my philosophy. Next are my lesson plans I have created. So this one was from last semester from a middle from middle school science and it just covered like elements on the periodic table and just goes through unit description and lesson description state standards that has to follow the goals from less the units and lesson i want to take out the methods i'll use what I'll do to wrap things up, and then how I'll be assessing them throughout and at the end. And then here I linked Adobe Spark video and just pages. And then for my second lesson plan that I that is most recent from my internship this semester was kindergarten class for weather. And so Here's just all the same stuff I had to include. And then here are the worksheets I would have had them do. So yes. And then next is my testimonial, which I talked about the Rita Pearson TED Talk. And I just thought it was interesting and emphasized many of the same things I always want to value in a teacher and just like she believed a lot of the things so I thought it was really inspiring. Next I have technology integration and I think it is very important to ensure that students are exposed to the latest technology and advances and I think teachers should always try to stay educated on it and include it in all and daily lessons and then also how makes some so some students don't have access to it you're pre pr providing that with for them and just so you can keep them up on it and then next i have projects which i talked about the kids conference we did my first semester in caps which included it was virtual so we held a big conference for elementary schools and so classrooms would zoom in and then we would have little activities for them and i was a part of the brain break sessions and the i spy session where in the brain break we just did a bunch of dances and then the i spy we would describe an object and we would have the kids try and find it and so I I really liked the Kim conference because it was fun to see all the kids interacting and engaged and having fun so yes and then next I have my professional development and I talked about the educate rising conference where Jeremy Anderson spoke and I thought that was really inspiring because he talked about his experience as a kid and the struggles he went through and how and it was just inspiring to see where he's how he got to where he is today 
and then just because he did go through a lot and he even like failed um, years and he ended up graduating so I think it's, it was very encouraging and he spoke a light and he's speaking a light into a students today and is telling his story and is sending a big message next I have my canvas page and cert certification which here's my canvas page I made and I liked it because it exposed us to what it could be like one day when we're actual teachers and what it would be like running it and then here's my Apple certification I got from taking a quiz. I earned my Mac badge. And then next is my book review. So this semester we had to read a book and I wrote Chicken Soup for the Kid's Soul. And I really liked it because there were a lot of different stories from kids that they wrote talking about different situations and telling their stories and their experience. And so one of my favorite that one of the kids wrote was The Connection. And it talked about how important it was to have a support system and to have connections with others because it is important for development. And I think it, it shines a great perspective all these stories did on what kids lives are like and then next I have my webinars slash podcast so I chose one of my favorite webinars which was teaching for a deeper learning talked about like finding evidence for deep learning and what deep learning actually means which means is a process through which an individual becomes capable of taking what was learned in one situation and applying it to a new situation and then I linked that here the webinar so you can give it a listen it was very interesting to hear and I liked it a lot so next is my virtual teacher academy so I picked one of my best ones I wrote about which Virtual Teacher Academy was just like a bunch of units and you read a lot, watched videos, and then answered some questions. So I posted this one and then if you click this I have more and then we got a certif certification or certificate uh, from Arizona State University so here's mine. And then next is my Sim School. So we did a lot with Sim School first semester and it was a simulation of what being in a classroom would actually be like. So I thought that was really interesting and cool to see like all the things that you have to pay attention to and be able to act quick on and just being able to observe what different students need and see my improvement and what I'm gaining from each time I go into one of the classrooms. And then next I have my Indigo report, which was like an assessment I took so they could gather all this information about me. So it talks about my strengths, my motivators, my behaviors, what values I bring to a team, and then my skills, and then it wrote a whole bunch of stuff about me and compiled it into three paragraphs and I think that is very interesting to see and know about myself because I think that's important to know what you can bring to a group and what's best so I like the indigo report a lot next we have a choice board where we got like free time and got to choose what we got to do. So I chose to do a virtual college tour or visit. So I visited the University of Kentucky and I thought that was cool since times are were hard and you can't really get that in experience going to visit them. So I like that you can do it online. 
or if you don't have the time. And then I took a personality test and I like that I can see what percentage I'm in for each category. And then I created like a wheel and added questions for like a roll call question kind of thing that you can use at the beginning of class. And I just threw in a bunch of questions. So I like doing that. Then next I have my Bitmoji classroom that we created in class. Which I also put on the front of my left or my canvas page. But that one was it moves, but you can't really see that. And then I linked my blog. And I have all my internship thing and a reflection on a podcast I listen to. And then next I have photos of just things we've done out. So this one, we colored a picture and then we had, there was an app that made it like 3D and like in the air, as you can see. So that's really cool. That kind of goes along with the technology integration, how things, how technology is just like growing and can do this kind of stuff. And it makes lessons more fun. And then here is a picture from first semester when we did the kids conference and the brain breaks. And then this picture is also from first semester. Um, we were given chapters and we had to present them to the class. So we are watching those on Zoom. And then here's another from the kids conference of us doing the brain break. And then this picture is most recent from my internship of me teaching. I was doing the calendar with them. That was very cute. And I, I liked that a lot. I learned a lot. It was a good experience. Finally, here's my contact page. You can leave me a message if you have any questions. So thank you for taking the time to view my website.